Now, let's talk about time. Let's talk about time and how we all wish we had more time and how we always say if I had a clone, I would put my clone to work and have the clone doing all of these things. Everybody, we can all use more time, right? If you are a mom, if you are a, a significant other, if you work full time, if you stay at home with your kids, you are busy. You wish, we all wish we had more time. We all only have 24 hours in a day and we have to sleep and we have to eat and we have to get a whole bunch of other things done. But there are ways, there are hacks and tips that we can implement into our lives to help us reclaim the time that we do have because time is our most valuable resource. It is the one thing that we cannot get back. You can always make more money, but you cannot make more time. So I wanna give you guys five tips to help you reclaim your time. So let's talk about these five tips, right? So the first one, the first tip is super easy, super simple. And I know a lot of us are going to struggle with this. I'm going to put myself in this, in this uh, category as well. Put down your devices. You've got a self, you've got a smartphone, you've got a smart watch, you've got a tablet, you've got a laptop, you've got an e-reader, you've got all of these things. And all of these things are designed to take time away from you. They are designed to get you hooked and spending more time on the devices, meaning you have less time to do the other things that you need to do in your real life. So my first tip to help you reclaim your time is to put down your devices and you decide when the best time is for you to put down those devices, but you got to put them down. My second tip is to make the most of your mornings. I don't know about you, but I like, I enjoy being up early in the morning when the rest of the people in my house are asleep. I do. I do. And I will get up earlier than everybody else just so I can have time to either clear my head, to write down my to-do list, to answer some emails, to do something. So I want to encourage you to make the most of your morning. And if that means you have to set the alarm clock for 30, 45 60 minutes earlier than you normally get up, do that. But you should be maximizing that time in the morning, whether you are a morning person or not. If you can simply be up before everybody else and nobody's asking you about lunch or about dinner or about this or about that, you can get some stuff done. So make the most of your morning, reclaim your time. That was tip number two. Tip number three is something that I'm doing right now. Close your door. You know, it's a shame that we know women out there right now that will say, the only time I have to myself is when I'm in the bathroom. That is a sin and a shame. Let me tell you something. You need to decide when you need to reclaim some time, find a room in your house, find a room in your office building or wherever you are, go in there and close the door. And, and, and if you have to do like the tweens and the teens do that says keep out or knock before entering, do that. And don't feel ashamed when you have to do it. Tip number four is to outsource or delegate. You cannot do all the things. You, you can't do it. You don't, we're not even built to do everything. So figure out what those tasks are that you absolutely have to do. And then everything else, find somebody else to do it. That could be doing the, that could be showing up at your house once a week to do laundry. That could be washing windows. I don't do windows ever. That could be cleaning your house uh, every two weeks. Um, that could be making casseroles to last you last your family for a month. Whatever it is, outsource it or delegate it. You do not have to do everything. Yes, your family still needs to get fed. But that does not mean that you have to be the one to plan, to grocery shop, to prepare, to clean up and all of that every day of the week. It doesn't have to be you. Outsource that or delegate that. There are people today that do that for a living. So let them do it. My last tip is to maximize your time away. Now I know it sounds real bad to say, listen. Get, a, get some time away from your family. I know we are not supposed to say that as mothers, as wives, as girlfriends, as fiancés. We are not supposed to say that. But let's keep it real here. Sometimes those jokers get on your nerves. You need time away. 
And even if that time away isn't a planned vacation, I want you to maximize that time. I just took a business trip. I was gone for two days. Um, and I had a lot to do business-wise on this trip. But can I tell you that that was the best little reset that I have had in months because I didn't have to make sure anybody else got to bed. I didn't have to think about what somebody else was going to eat for dinner. I didn't have to, to make sure somebody else got up to do this. Did you do your math? Did you do this? Did you do this? I was the only one on my responsibility list. That felt amazing. Okay. So make the most, maximize your time away. Even if you happen to be away on business, you're traveling for work, take some time out to pour into you. Because when you do get back to those people that you live with, you'll be refreshed. You'll be nice and cool, calm and collected. And you'll be able to deal with everything that they're going to throw on your plate as soon as you walk in the door. Five tips to help you reclaim your time. None of us get any more time than anybody else. We get the same 24 hours that Beyonce has. And I guarantee you, the only way she can do all the things that she does is because she outsources, she delegates. You can't tell me Beyonce don't have somebody that is braiding her hair while she's sleeping. I truly believe that. She goes to sleep and somebody braids her hair while she is sleeping so she can get her rest. And when she wakes up, her hair is done. <laughs> That's how she gets it done. That's how we can maximize our time like Beyonce.